According to a royal expert, Princess Kate can confide in Duchess Sophie, and the two royals are apparently growing closer. Princess Kate is apparently becoming closer to a fellow member of the royal family. After realizing there are a few people she can confide in, Princess Kate and her husband, Prince William, are reportedly developing closer with their aunt and uncle, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, after realizing there are few people they can trust. Jenny Bond, a former BBC royal correspondent, feels Princess Kate can confide in Duchess Sophie. I think William and Catherine feel they can confide in Edward and Sophie, and there are so few people a royal can entrust with their thoughts and feelings, she told OK Magazine. According to Sky News Australia, the Willises are suspicious of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after the Sussexes revealed information about the royal family in their Oprah interview Netflix docu-series and Harry's biography Spare. Kate 41 and Sophie 58 Ms. Bond says have bonded because they come from middle-class origins and grew up with more functional home life than most of the royals. The royal insider went on to say, both Catherine and Sophie have a common touch perhaps because because they lived normal lives before marrying. She also mentions that they are the new female stars of the show and that they are always eager to interact with and connect with people they encounter on engagements. Ms. Bond continued sometimes it seems strange to realize that these are two different generations OF royals as they seem much closer. Ms. Bond believes Sophie and Edward are bonded to the Willises as a result of Queen Elizabeth II's death. The royal expert continued, especially after all that has happened not only with the Queen's DH but with Harry and Meghan leaving and Andrew getting sacked the two couples have formed a tie T bond. Ms. Bond sees Duchess Sophie in particular as a brilliant bridge between the older royals led by Kai and G. Charles and the new generation represented by Princess Kate and Prince William. Prince George was born almost a decade ago and his arrival triggered a media frenzy throughout the world as people eagerly awaited the arrival of Prince William and Princess Kate's first child. The newborn prince was born on July 22, 2013 at 4.24 p.m. at Street Mary's Hospital in Paddington, Londo N. But the royal couple had to keep George's birth a secret at first for a unique reason. When it comes to the birth of a future King Royal Custom states that no one should discover the new s until the existing monarch in this case the late queen elizabeth is no the princess of wales would not have been allowed to tell her parents or any other family or friends until the late queen was told of the birth of her great grandson according to reports even medical personnel swore not to reveal the baby's birth according to the whole royal procedure the incumbent monarch must always be the first call after the birth of a future king. According to reports, Prince William broke the good news to his grandmother, another process that royals must follow following the birth of a potential monarch is for the present monarch to assent to the prospective name of a future king. However, in the instance of William and Kate, considering the fact that a royal historian claims that Prince William does not require his wife Princess Kate to accompany him to this year's Earthshot Prize because he is now settling into his new role, the Princess of Wales will not accompany her husband to Singapore in November according to Kensington Palace because Prince George has exams that week and the royal wants to be at home to support HM. However, according to royal historian Marlene Koenig, the heir to the throne does not need his wife to make a success. Both William and Catherine have been doing great recently, she told Express.co.uk. We've seen how they've adjusted their royal engagements as well as how they've reached out to communities and supported important issues like early childhood mental health and education. They are able to discuss serious issues without becoming political which contributes to their suffering. SS. She further claimed that Prince William did not require his wife to be in Singapore with him to support him on his big day. Who goes to work every day with his wife? She inquired. And William doesn't have to be with Catherine to make the day a success, she continued. It's his big day he's been doing this for a long time and his efforts have been highly welcomed, remarked the royal historian. It comes after Princess Kate was chastised for remaining in the UK while her husband travelled to Singapore. A journalist dubbed the princess a reluctant traveller noting that she has only travelled out of the country on official business twice this year.
her two formal obligations abroad this year have been to watch England play Argentina in the Rugby W World Cup in Marseille and to attend the wedding of Jordan's crown prince in Amman. She and Prince William traveled around the world on royal trips before their two older children Prince George and Princess Charlotte entered. <laughs>